okay viewers uh, now today's lecture we solve some problems by making truth table see uh, we want to construct the truth table for this compound statement okay so how we can construct it see in this there are only two preposition one is p and other one is q so write here p statement and write here q statement so both the statements might be true the p might be true q might be false okay uh, this might be false this might be true okay or both might be false okay so first of all consider this first part uh, in this we want to find the negation of okay so this true value becomes false this false value becomes true this true becomes false and this false becomes true. Okay. Now we want to find the disjunction of P negation of. Okay. So refer to this column and this column. Uh, in case of disjunction, if any of the statement is true, then the answer is true. So you see that this value is true. This is false. So the answer is true. Uh, here both the values they are true. So the answer is true. Okay. Uh, here both the values they are false. So the answer is false. Uh, here this one is false but this one is true so the answer is what answer is true okay now refer uh, next we want to find p conjunction q so p conjunction q in case of conjunction if both the statements are true only then the answer is true uh, if any of the statement is false then the answer is false so this one is false okay uh, here you see that this one is false this one is true so the answer is what answer is false uh, here both the statements they are false then the answer is false okay now we want to find p disjunction negation of q implies p conjunction q okay so mainly we write the entries of uh, this column this column okay but when the entries of both these columns they are false then the answer becomes true okay so this one is true so write the true uh, this one is false but this one is true so the answer uh, you write here f okay here both the entries they are false so the answer is what answer is true okay uh, here this one is true this one is false so the write the entry of uh, p conjunction which is f so in this way you can uh, make the truth table of uh, uh, this compound statement okay now next we want to learn about uh, tautology and uh, and uh, contradiction okay see if your compound statements the result it is uh, uh, true always okay then it is called tautology and if your compound statement result it is false always then it is called contradiction so i just uh, show you this with the help of an example suppose we have one preposition p which is either true or false so what is the negation of this p if it is true it becomes false and if it is false it becomes true okay now what is the disjunction of p negation of q in case of disjunction if any of the statement is true then the answer is true so this is true okay this is also true okay uh, so you see that here all the entries in this column they are true so we can say that p disjunction negation of p it is tautology okay it is tautology or you can write it like this t a u g o l o g y it's tautology okay and then p conjunction negation of p if any of the statement is false then the answer is false so this is false uh, this one is also false so in your final compound statement you see that all the answers they are false so that is why it is called contradiction okay it is called contradiction so you can write here that p conjunction negation of p it is what it is false okay it is what it is false now next we solve uh, this problem it is called de morgan's law there are basically two types of de morgan law one is this negation of p conjunction q uh, this is negation of p disjunction negation of q and other uh, de morgan's law is negation of p uh, disjunction q when you take this negation inside okay it becomes negation of p this disjunction symbol it becomes conjunction symbol okay negation of q 
so i just show this thing that uh, these two statements they are logically equivalent okay it is very easy to prove that okay suppose we have p statement when we have two statements so both the statements might be true one might be true other might be false okay this might be false this might be true or both the statements they might be false okay now p conjunction q so you see that in case of conjunction if uh, both the statements they are true only then the answer is true otherwise it is false so it is true okay uh, this one is false this one is false uh, this one is uh, false okay now find the negation of p conjunction okay this statement is true so this becomes false here this is false so this becomes true here this is false this becomes true here this is false this becomes true okay now what is the negation of p okay if it is true it becomes false here Uh, if it is false it becomes true here if it is false it becomes true here okay uh, sorry uh, here it is false uh, and it is true so this becomes here false okay uh, and as this is false so this becomes here true as this is false so this becomes here true okay then find the negation of p okay uh, this value is true so this becomes false here uh, this is false so this becomes true here uh, this is true so this becomes false here uh this is false so this becomes true here okay now find the uh find the disjunction of uh, negation of q and negation of uh, p okay so this uh, in case of disjunction if any of the statement is true then the answer is true so here uh, as both these are false so the answer is false here uh this one is true so the answer is true uh this one is true so the answer is true okay and both these are true so the answer is true so you see that Uh, this column entries and this column entries uh, both these are same so we can say here that uh, negation of uh, p conjunction q uh, this is equal to negation of p disjunction negation of q means that uh, both these are logically equivalent these three uh, symbol mean okay they are logically equivalent by logically equivalent mean that they have the same truth values okay now we solve one more question okay so here you are given p implies q uh, this is uh, logically equivalent to negation of p is junction q so it is very easy see p and q so both the statements might be true first might be true and second might be false first might be false okay and second might be true or both might be false okay and you people are aware that p implies q is true okay uh, uh if uh, if uh, sorry p implies q uh, it is false if p is true and q is false okay so this is false only okay uh, in rest of the cases it is always true okay now find the negation of p so what is the negation of p uh, here it is true value it becomes false okay here it is true value it becomes false okay here it is false it becomes true okay here it is false it becomes true okay then find the disjunction of negation of p uh, and q so what do you get this is refer to this column and this column okay so if any of the statement is true then the answer is true it is true okay uh, both the statements they are false so this is false okay uh, here it is true here it is true so the answer is what true Uh, here it is false it is true so the answer is what it is true okay so you see that this thing okay and this thing uh, they are equal okay they are logically equivalent so p implies q it is logically equivalent to negation of p uh negation of p is junction okay so i want to give you people one question to solve okay whenever you find time you try to solve this problem p uh, conjunction q disjunction r uh, this is equal to p conjunction q okay disjunction p conjunction r okay so this is this is called distributive law okay whenever you people find time you try to solve this problem on your own so thank you very much viewers for watching this video